Hey everyone, welcome to Tablescapes with me, Sarah Gunn. I hope you believe now, like I do, that every table is a beautiful, thoughtful piece of art. Now, nothing says summer like alfresco dining, but for a lot of us, especially in our busy household, travel's more of a dream than a reality. So why not create that experience right here at home? But before I begin, go be wonderful and subscribe to this channel and like, comment, and share this video. Today's tablescape inspiration is a European backyard lunch. And we're setting the scene with a beautiful tablecloth and dinnerware. To start off, I'm using this beautiful linen tablecloth. It is the perfect backdrop for this table. I picked it up at H&M. And don't worry about the wrinkles. That's part of the relaxed style that we're going for. Normally I like to mix and match dinnerware, but these two, although a set, have a different delicate pattern on them. I love how they feel like a vintage market find, even though I found them at Winners. Normally I like to bring my indoor dinnerware outside. It's more budget friendly and it requires less storage space in your home too. But of course, if you have a pool in your backyard, avoid bringing any breakable items outside. For this table, I went with matte black flatware. You'll find out why when we get to the centerpiece. For glasses, I went with this pale green option. Believe it or not, they're plastic and not glass, which is much more practical for outdoor dining. A neatly folded napkin finishes each place setting. Time for a fragrant, pretty centerpiece. We're gonna create the centerpiece for this table in layers, starting with these three matte black pots that I had sitting in our garage. I love repurposing items I already have in my home. I planted some really fragrant lavender in there and placed them on the table, equal distance apart. Whitewash, okay, hold on. Whitewashed. <laughs> Whitewashed yeah, pots. Okay. Whitewashed clay pots really give a European feel to the table. So I went to Sheridan Nurseries, picked up a bunch of clay pots, some herbs and flowers, and then I DIY'd the pots to give them that whitewashed look, and I scattered them down the rest of the table. Let me show you how. Here's what you'll need clay pots of different heights and shapes, a paintbrush white paint, you can use craft paint or leftover house paint, water, a small dish with lid, and a paper towel, and finally, some pretty potted plants. How do we make these? First, mix the paint with a little bit of water. I like to use a container with a lid, so if you have to stop partway through, the paint won't dry out. Give the mixture a really good stir. Apply the diluted paint mixture to the pot to one small section. And then using a dry paper towel, you're going to wipe most of that paint away. Work your way around the entire pot, one section at a time, until you've covered the entire thing. And don't forget to do the top and a little bit of the inside edge too. And wipe that away. Once you're done, you can add your potted flowers. Scatter the pots down the table in groupings of different heights. Add a little romantic lighting with candles and you'll end up with a beautiful fragrant centerpiece that runs the full length of your table. Everyone loves a personal touch. I love giving guests a little takeaway, so I picked up some mini clay pots, gave them that same whitewash technique, planted them with some fresh rosemary, and placed them on each place setting. And then each of your guests can take them home. I wish you could smell how fragrant this table is. And don't forget to check out Food Friends Family with Chef Paul, where he has some delicious recipes for open-faced sandwiches. 
Every Tuesday, Paul will create some amazing recipes for you to serve your friends and family, and I'll style the table for you to serve it. Okay, chef's kiss? This table brings me back to when I had a life, as in before I had children, when I used to live in Stockholm and I'd sit in the patio in Gamlestan, the old square of Stockholm, and people watch all day. I really miss that. And that brings us to the end of Tablescapes. It's been so much fun bringing these tables to life and hopefully inspiring you to create them for your family and friends. Please continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and be inspired always. Thanks so much for watching.